construction of rectangles rectangle is a special parallelogram all the properties of a parallelogram are applicable to a rectangle but there are two additional properties you have to add those are all angles of a rectangle are equal and they are of 90 degree each angle is of 90 degree this is another important property diagonals of the rectangle are equal of course they bisect each other we'll construct rectangle for say condition two adjacent sides are given definitely we will first draw one of the sides then the second side we can draw but before that you have to construct an angle of 90 degree and point c will be somewhere over here and that we have to locate from the given length of the side so how we can do we can take the length of the side and draw an arc and that way we get the point c okay once we get point c from point c we can draw an arc to locate the point d over here similarly from point a you can draw another arc that is equal to bc and that way we'll get the point d and once you get the point d you can join the points d a and d c and this is how we construct a rectangle if two adjacent sides are given next condition one side and one diagonal are given so first draw the given side say a b then the diagonal is given and before that we have to construct an angle of 90 degree and in this side the point c is located so to locate the point c you take the length of the diagonal and draw an arc to cut this line say this is the arc and you get the point c and the length of the arc is say ac whatever length is given so this way we locate the point c we can look at the point d easily and join them to get the required rectangle and the third condition is if one diagonal and the angle between two diagonals are given you first draw the given diagonal say ac is the given diagonal diagonals bisect each other in a rectangle even in a parallelogram diagonals bisect each other so first you locate the midpoint of diagonal ac say o is the midpoint because we have drawn a perpendicular bisector so ao is equal to oc now at point o you have to construct the given angle between the two diagonals say the given angle is this much and you draw a line passing through point O at the given angle say x degree so the point D will be somewhere here and point B will be over here so to locate point B and D what you can do this is the important property diagonals are equal AC is equal to BD so half of AC is equal to half of BD now what is half of AC that is equal to OA and also equal to OC and half of BD is equal to OB and OD because O is the midpoint for both the diagonals and since both diagonals are equal so all this length will be equal so what we can do we can construct one single arc like this passing through all the points so why this is so because the radius OA, OC, OB and OD all are equal. So this way we locate the point B and point D. And once you locate the points, you can join them to get the required rectangle. So now we are going to solve the questions from exercise 18D on construction of rectangle. Construction of a rectangle ABCD. If AB equal to 4.5 centimeter and BC is 5.5 centimeter. Let us draw side AB 4.5 centimeter. Now at point B, you have to construct an angle of 90 degree. So let us construct an angle of 90 degree here. 
So we get two point of intersections and now we can change the radius. So with this radius, draw an arc. Then again with this center, same radius, draw another arc and join this point of intersection and point B. This is 90 degree angle. Now point C is located in this line. Now that point we have to locate uh, 5.5 centimeter. So draw an arc with radius of 5.5 centimeter taking B as a center. Draw an arc and you get the point C with this same radius because BC is equal to AD. So you take A as a center and draw an arc here. Point D will be here. Now again, we can change the radius to AB. AB is equal to 4.5 centimeter. So this is the radius. So take C as the center, cut the previous arc, and this is point D. Now we can join point D, C, and D, A. So this is the required rectangle A, B, C, D. Question number three of three. Question number one and two are same. So I skip that question. AB equal to 5.0 centimeter and diagonal AC is 6.7 centimeter. Let us draw the line AB first, five centimeter long line. Now here also we have to construct an angle of 90 degree. So now you can change the radius of the arc. Join the two points. Diagonal AC is given. So let us draw a line AC like this. So you cannot do it like that. So you have to take a compass and take the length of the AC and that is equal to 6.7 centimeter. So now you take a as a center and cut this line like this so we get point C now now from point C you can construct this land again from point B we can take this land that is equal to BC now take A as the center so we get point D here. Now join the points D A and D C and this is the required rectangle A B C D. Question number five. Question number five and six are almost same. So I chose question number five. Each diagonal is six centimeter and the angle between them is 45 degree. So let us start with the diagonal first. Draw a line 6 cm long. Say this is AC. Now we have to bisect this line AC which will be the point of bisection of the two diagonals. Let us draw a perpendicular bisector. Take A as a center and any suitable radius draw a couple of arcs on both sides of AC. Now with same radius, this time center is C, draw another couple of arcs to cut the previous couple of arcs at two different points. Join these two point of intersection and we will get a perpendicular bisector of line AC. Suppose the point of intersection is O. So AO is equal to CO. And O is also the midpoint of the other diagonal. At point O, we have to construct a 45 degree angle. So let us do it. Take A as a center and any suitable radius. Draw an arc. Now we can change the radius and take this point as center and draw an arc in this side. With same radius, with this point of intersection, let us draw another arc to cut the previous arc at this point. Now if we join this point and point O, 
this is the bisector of this angle so this is the bisector of this angle so this angle is now 45 degree so point b is located in this portion of this bisector of the angle and point d is located over here now let us locate this point you see ac and bd they bisect each other and both the diagonals are equal so oa is equal to oc and not only that this is also equal to ob and is equal to od so we can draw a single arc taking o as a center and radius equal to oc or oa these are same let us draw this arc passing through point a and point d then point c and also point b so this is the point of intersection b this is point of intersection d now simply you have to join point a b b c c d and d a this is a b b c c d and d a so this is the required rectangle a b c d